Hi everyone, here's a tutorial on how to spring a deck of cards. Before I go into the tutorial, here's what it looks like. Okay, getting straight into the tutorial. Uh, you have, for a spring, you need a hand to catch with and a hand to spring with. Now this will vary depending if you're left or right handed. I'm left handed, so I spring with my left hand and I catch with my right hand. Um, firstly, you'll need to grip the cards in your catching hand, like this. So you'll have three fingers along the side of the deck and your thumb on the other side and your index finger will be bent with your knuckle touching the underneath of the card in the top corner, right about where that pip is on the five of hearts. Now, your springing hand will then come over to the deck, and if you're left-handed, it will grab the top left corner with your middle finger, and the bottom right with your thumb, like this. And the flesh of your fingers should go just over the edge of the deck. It's not right on the edge here, you need to go over a bit like this. So you can see I've got a little bit of flesh holding the cards in position and a little bit of flesh here holding the cards in position. As you grab those cards, push the ends of your fingers in so that you can hold them and even bend them a little bit without the use of the other hand. Then you know you've got the right grip. As you're grabbing the cards, push with that knuckle into the middle of the palm here. So we would come over, grab the edges of the deck, push with that index finger, and then this will create a nice bend in the cards that you should be able to hold without the use of the other hand. So we like this. So that is how we get in position for the spring. The next very important point is the position of the catching hand. If you have your hand like this, the cards are gonna fly out all over the place because of the pressure. So we need to create a big kind of net. If you think of it like a claw here, um, for the cards to land in. So you need to have your hands like this. And that is because when the cards come down, if they hit this thumb, they'll go to the middle. If they hit this finger, they go into the middle. If they hit these fingers, they'll go into the middle. So wherever they land anywhere in this area, they're being pushed down into the center of your hand. So back where we were here, with this finger, cards are bent because you push them in with a knuckle. Place your hand facing uh, palm upwards in this position that will catch all the cards and then gradually you apply more and more pressure with these fingers pushing them towards each other. And what will happen is the cards will flick over that fleshy part of your hand and fly into the other hand, like this. So once more, holding the deck three fingers one side, thumb the other side, with the knuckle in the top corner underneath. Springing hand comes over onto the top corners, the middle finger, if it's left handed that will be in your left and the bottom, the thumb will go onto the bottom right corner. If you're right handed that will be the opposite. And we push with the knuckle as we push down with the fingers of the spring hand, bending the cards like this, holding in the large catching position and then springing the cards. It's a little difficult to do slowly. Some tips on how to make this a little easier for practice. First of all, um, you don't really want to be doing this standing up with a spring like that because when you're learning, the cards are going to go everywhere. The best thing to do is sit on something like a bed or on the floor and keep the cards close to your chest when you spring or your stomach because that way, if they do fall out of your hand, they won't go everywhere. You can usually pick them up and try again quite quickly. Uh, another thing, especially when you're starting off, thinner cards are easier to spring with. This deck has got quite a thin stock of cards. You can do it with thicker cards, but just to begin with, I definitely recommend um, a thinner card, oh, sorry, a thinner deck. Now, 
Um, when you first start off, I recommend just slight, um, just a small distance between the spring hand and the catching hand. So, this is another. And then that's another way that they won't go flying everywhere. And then as you get uh, more experienced with it, you can get further out. And then you can keep going further out um, with the spring. And the further out you can go, obviously the more impressive it looks. So, hope that was helpful. Let me know if you've got any comments down below. And that's the spring. Thanks again.